pochi giorni prima. A few days before May the 4th, my father and Valerio had just agreed terms to buy a beach resort, either at Spotorno or at Finale Ligure. On the 4th, my father was here clearing the beach to make it more appealing for clients, and the plane passed over the beach twice. Valerio made the pilot do a round trip as a way of greeting the beach. Afterwards, the plane flew towards the airport of Caselle, Turin. That 4th of May was in 1949, when tragedy struck the sporting world. The staff and players of Torino Football Club were flying home from a match in Portugal. Their plane crashed into the hill at Zuperga, just outside the city of Turin. There were no survivors. The team, renamed Grande Torino, won five consecutive league titles and were unbeaten at home over six years. That invincible group of players also formed the Italian national team of the time, from Torino's legendary captain Valentino Mazzola to their talented and charismatic goalkeeper Valerio Bacigalupo. I grew up in a house where you could really feel the presence of my uncle, because when you walked in, there was a long corridor, and at the end of the corridor was this big framed photo, a close-up of my uncle wearing the Italy shirt. When my father would leave the house, he would make the sign of the cross and look at the photo. That image has stayed with me all my life. Paolo's father was one of the 11 Bacigalupo brothers, and he passed on his passion for the Granata to his son, tasking him with keeping the memory of that incredible team alive. When I was a child, I remember this suitcase would often be taken out of the wardrobe, and it was always an emotional moment. As well as the photos, there was the watch worn by Valerio when the plane crashed, his half-burnt documents, half destroyed and half intact. There was his gun license, his university registration. Of all the brothers, I think my father felt his absence the most. He would often call me Valerio by mistake. And on every anniversary of the crash, I would see him crying. A beach resort on the Ligurian coast has been a family reference point since the early 20th century. That's why the Bacigalupos have maintained their connection with Vado Ligure and its sea. This tragedy happened. But then, two years later, my father wanted to honor Valerio's name in some way, and so they built the Bacigalupo Beach Resort. The resort had its days of splendor and history, and then in 1994, we decided to create something new at the Valerio Bacigalupo Resort. That's when the Daubaci Resort was born. My father and I wanted to create a gallery where we could place objects, but we didn't want it to make it glum and brooding, so that's when we came up with the idea of the columns full of photos, and they're still here today. This 72nd anniversary of the Superga air disaster casts a different light on the Granata's current struggle to stay in Syria. The team will seek to pay homage to the past when they play Verona this weekend. We always want our players to honor and respect the history of this club, because when you put on the Granata shirt, it's a heavy shirt to bear. You are wearing the shirt of the Invincibles. We hope that the team gives it everything they have against Verona. Hopefully they can win the game and thus honor the fallen at Superga. Talking of future hope, this is Ricky. He holds some personal hope for us. He's the youngest son, born in 2009. When he turns 12, he will probably join the Torino Academy. He is showing a bit of promise. And the hope is that some of those genes from his uncle have been handed down to him. 
and that he can go on to become a good player.